time we blow this scene Get everybody in the stuff together Okay, three, two, one, let's jam What's up guys? My name is Brendan and this is Trick of the Week A new series that'll be coming out every Tuesday I want to go over one trick in detail So that way we can all share it and train it together A whole bunch of other people have done Trick of the Week in the past and this is just my version. Like I said, it'll be coming out every Tuesday. So with that said, let's get started. The trick of the week this week is rise. First, I wanna talk about what is the rise. The rise is an off axis flip that comes from capoeira. It's the same steps as a tornado kick but instead of doing a vertical spin kick, you kick your back leg really hard, giving you a ton of flipping momentum to give you this off axis flip that isn't quite vertical or horizontal. It lies at that 45. And like I said, this trick is from Capoeira, a Brazilian dance martial art. So guys, if you wanna learn more about the history of the rise, I'd recommend going out and checking out Capoeira. Second, I want to talk about how you can learn the rise. And there's two different approaches that people tend to follow. The high way or the low way. The low way means you attempt the rise by first learning your gumby, which is just a rise where you use both your hands. Next, you do a sailor moon in a touchdown rise. A sailor moon is a gumby where you only touch your first hand, and a touchdown rise, you only touch your second. Then you kind of tap each one and then slowly you work off until you're able to do it without any hands at all. That's the low way. And then the high way is to turn your tornado kick into a rise. You start with the tornado kick, which is just a super vertical spin kick rise type motion. Next, you learn the lazy boy. The lazy boy has both your legs extended and it's slightly off axis. You start learning how to lean your chest further and further back and use your arms to flip rather than keeping them in a fighter stance like you would for a tornado kick. Finally, you keep inverting it more and more and more until you end up with a rise. Like I said, there's two different approaches. You could take the low way by starting with the Gumby or you could take the high way by starting with the tornado kick. Either way, both will get you to the rise. And usually when athletes are first approaching this trick, I recommend they learn both. They practice their Gumby and their tornado kick and start to mold them together until they can finally get the rise. Third, I wanna talk about the tricks that you learn after you get the rise. The rise isn't just the end. You can then build off your rise to learn more difficult variations. The ones I'll be showing you are side swipe and rise twist. The side swipe is a rise where you then initiate a swipe variation, switching your legs to execute a massive round kick, kicking straight over your head. Then there's the rise twist, where you do the rise and then you pull in your body just like a B-twist, giving you this off-axis flip and twist. The side swipe and the rise twist are also the two big prerequisites to learning the snap-boo swipe, one of the most famous rise variations. This trick is not the end. Like I said, keep building your rise until you can get more and more difficult tricks. Fourth, I want to talk about how you can combo your rise. The rise is a great transition or a setup. It's the perfect skill to combo and to use just about anywhere. If you want to get into your rise, what I would recommend is two clean tricks. The first is the front sweep. Sometimes people will call the front sweep to rise transition a Viking sweep, and it's a really fun and simple thing to do. You just front sweep and almost hyper it, landing on the leg you kick with, 
then kicking back your other one to give you the off-axis flip of a rise. The other thing you can do to get into a rise is an aerial. Often people will work aerial rise until they can get the transition good enough to where they can do an aerial front swing rise, just keeping all of that off-axis flipping momentum from the aerial and pushing it into the rise. Now, if you're going to combo out of the rise, people will often do two things. They will either swing their rise, like if you were going to do a rise swing gainer. The rise ends in that eagle position, so it's a great setup to swing a nice big off-axis flip. The second is a vanish. You can use your rise as a transition to set you into cheat kicks. For me, I'll be showing you the cheat nine. Though, when you do a rise cheat kick, bear in mind that you have to slow down. It almost turns into a wrap because the rise forces you to almost over cheat every single kick. But those are the two ways that I see people really combo rise. They'll go into it using a front sweep or an aerial type motion, and then they'll exit it using a swing or a vanish transition. That said, you can combo your rise in whatever way you want. These are just a few examples. Finally, I wanna end you guys with some examples of other tricking athletes doing rise and rise variations. If you go out and look into the bigger tricking community, you can see people using tricks in ways you never thought possible. Plus, so many other people are better able to combo the trick, use it as a transition, or maybe do it in a way that is unexpected, that you've never heard of before. With all that said, here are some other trickers doing the rise and just killing it. Guys, do me a favor, write me a comment down below. What do you want the trick of the week to be next week? Like I said, I'll be putting one of these out every Tuesday. Thank you again and enjoy.